Hey team, what's going on? I had a request from a student to show how to use the MetaTrader 4 on the phone. So I'm gonna do a quick tutorial. Um, I don't have a demo account, so you're gonna see me make one on the MetaTrader 4. However, you can use a broker of your choice and create a demo account through them and use those credentials to log in by using this option. So I'm gonna click here just to make it easy. And I'm just gonna do MetaTrader 4 and this is my info right here. I'm going to select the highest leverage, which is one to 100. And then my deposit, instead of it being 10,000, I'm just going to do 3000 to be a little bit more realistic. Um, if you do have Hugo's way or other brokers and you're a newbie, I recommend using a realistic amount for the deposit. So when you open a live account, um, you're not just like disappointed because you use high lot sizes on your demo and now you can't do that on your smaller account so just wanted to share that with you um excuse the background noise i'm gonna try to speak up as much as possible i am outside um so i apologize if you hear background noise but let's get to it so i'm going to register and it says please wait until the new account is created i think i'm doing this right there we go. And now it's given me my login and my password, which I probably won't even use again. But here we go. So now you have these currencies that pop up here. I use the advanced option because I like to see spread, um, which is basically what your broker charges you. It's what your broker charges you when you're trading. Excuse me, y'all. Um, it's up to you on what you want to do, but I like the advance, okay? If you don't see your pair here, you can click on this icon on the top right and it will allow you to add pairs. Now it depends on your broker. Some of them may offer stock, some of them offer exotic, some of them offer crypto. So you'll have like different folders here that you can select from. So you can add it to your list so you don't go crazy looking for it. So in this case, we're just gonna go with good old fashioned Euro US dollar. We're gonna go click on chart and this allows me to see the chart, okay? So um, as far as indicators, I don't even know. I, I think I have like a 50 EMA on here. I don't usually use indicators, but I have that on here. On the top left is where you would sit there and pick the time frame. So if you click on that button, you can see where I have the minute, the 5, 15, 30, and so on. All right, to look at different time frames. This crosshair just allow it helps with charting right for accuracy and what's cool is right here it'll show you where price is at depending on where you move it to take it off just click on the cross again the f right here okay i'm going to click on that that is your indicators so if you're an indicator trader you just click on main window you look for your indicator and you can add it in so you can see where i have a moving average it's 50 i've changed the color and bam if i don't want that i just slide left and i delete and then I have a MACD on the bottom. So let's say I don't want the MACD on the bottom. I can delete. I can go to main window. Let's say I want to add RSI, um, so relative strength index. I click on that. And let's just say I do done. And, well, let me change the colors, y'all. Hold on, because you won't be able to see that. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on style. And the color is dark. So let me just quickly try something lighter. Again, I don't really... There we go. Now it's something that I can see right here. All right. So that's that. The last box right here are your tools. So you can use your Fibonacci. You can use your arrows, your rectangles, um, all of those like things to draw. If you don't see your object, just click right here and you can see more things that you can use to mark up on your chart, which is pretty cool. So if I wanted to draw a trend line, I can click on that. You now see the icon on the top right. I'm just going to tap on my phone then drag it tap again excuse me to anchor it so when the dots go away that means it's anchored it, I, if i touch it it's not going to move i can hold on to it again excuse me double tap it or just tap it once to adjust it and then tap it again excuse me to the dots go away to lock it in if i don't want it i'm just going to hold on to it press delete and it's gone now let's say I want to enter a trade here, okay? And we're not gonna we're not gonna sit there and focus on if I'm correct, if, if it's a buy or sell. I'm just gonna show you. So let's say right now I'm in here and I'm looking for a, a sell opportunity, okay? I can click on trade, 
and these buttons right here are your lot sizes if you don't know what a lot size is you do not need to be trading okay so if you're in my free course i do explain what they are this is what you're willing to risk okay so this right here the minus sign means you want to take away and this is to add to your position okay so once you put your order in that's it that's what you're putting in so if i click on this one right here it's going to a micro lot of or excuse me a mini lot of seven right point zero seven which is 70 cents per pip if i use this one right here it will increase this number right here you can see it moving so now in this case i'm using a 0.77 which is seven dollars and seventy cents per pip if that's too much you just use these buttons here on the left to take away see and i'm going to use this one now bam this right here is your execution it, instant execution execution excuse me is also known as market execution so that's if you're going to get in right away then you have the option of buy limit sell limit buy stop and sell stop those are when you put orders so if you're not putting an order and you're just getting into a trade you want to make sure number one that you're in the correct uh pair okay you always want to make sure of that and then this is where you would enter your stop loss and your take profit you don't have to worry about deviation this is my demo so i don't know why it's doing that but you can just do that you enter those numbers right there so when you're marking up and you figured out your stop loss you would put those numbers in if you want to adjust the stop loss i'm going to show you how to do that so i'm going to quickly um just i don't even know what numbers i want to use but hold on let's see because we're just doing, let's just say i'm going to use a stop loss let's go to the 15 minute all right let's say i'm going to make my stop loss right here so we're going to do 1.8789 so i'm going to click trade and i'm going to do 1.8789 all right, I don't have a take profit yet, but that's okay. I'm gonna click sell. And now I'm in the trade because I mark it executed. This is a big stop loss in my opinion, but I'm just doing this to show you guys. So let's say I'm looking for a take profit. So I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use this area right here. So 1.8288, right? So I'm gonna click on this icon down here where it says trade. And now you see your position and you can click on it to see that the stop loss is there. Meaning if price covers this covers this area, I'll get pulled out the trade because it's not going to the direction I want it to. And that protects my capital so I don't lose a lot of money. But you can see where it says TP, which is take profit. That's not filled in. So we said 1.8290. So if I take this right here, I can either hold on to it and click on modify or I can swipe left and modify and now i can go ahead and enter my take profit okay which i already forgot at this point <laughs> but i'm just going to make up a number 1.18279 let's just see if i'm right yeah no 1.8290 hold on y'all okay so when you swipe left to modify you're going to click this right here the second icon the pencil i think i did it right i'm not sure okay there we go so now i have my stop loss and my take profit so if the trade if both of these lines the red and the gray line go past this i get stopped out of the trade i did not win if both of these go past this to take profit then i'm in profit and i win and again i'm just doing this for example sakes i'm not doing this to, if, to say that i'm trading in the right direction so now let's go back to trade okay so this is where i can see what is going on if i want to modify anything again you can swipe left and use this icon if i want to take partial profits or exit i'm going to use this icon right here so i'm going to click on that check mark and i can go ahead and make any adjustments that i need okay so in this case because i'm using the minimal lot size i can't take partial profits. so i'm going to show you another example with that but let's say i want to close it out I can close with my loss of 40 cents and I'm taken out of the trade if I feel like I don't want to wait for it to hit my stop loss and I see that it's not going as planned okay to see my history you just click on history and now you can see the trades you can see where I lost a trade so let's get back in this trade and now we're gonna do a buy right we're gonna do an instant execution and I'm not gonna put in my stop loss right now um, just for example sakes 
But let's say I do that and I'm gonna use a bigger lot size. I'm gonna use a 0 0.50, which is $5 a pip. So I'm gonna click buy. And normally I would have my stop loss and my take profit entered, okay? Just to make sure I'm not gonna get, you know, the market doesn't take me out or there could be a crazy inflation and or news and you don't wanna lose a lot of money. So let's say I get in for the buy. And let's say, um, in this case, I have to wait for it to be in profit, but let's say I'm in profit for a little bit or I'm in the loss and I'm, the, the lot size is making me a little bit nervous with how much I put in. I can click on this icon right here I can swipe left and click that pencil icon again, right? Oh, excuse me. Click the check mark. My apologies. Oh, this is a good example. And I can take some of my profits. So I can sit here and click on these and take, excuse me, some of my profits and still leave a position open. So I can close with $2.52 in profit. And now instead of a 0 0.50, I have a 0 0.22 lot. I've taken some of my money right here, which you can see, and I still have a position going. Now, if you sit here and you click the plus sign, you can add an additional position to your trade. Okay, this is also called compounding. Some people call it twin trading, but you can do that. And then this last icon right here, this chart, just takes you to the chart. All right, so if I wanna get out of here, again, I can hold on to it and click close or I can swipe left, click the check mark and hit close. All right, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to let me know. Oh, I had to show you the orders, excuse me, y'all. So let's say I wanna put an order, my apologies. I wanna put an order, right? I wanna put a sell limit, for example. And let's say, I'm gonna use a horizontal line real quick. I wanna put a sell limit right here at, and I can hold on to this, click on properties and I can change the number right here so a matter of fact let me open that back up and I'm gonna copy this okay so let's just say that's it this is where I want my sell limit to go ahead and start that means that when price comes up here I'm expecting rejection to take down so I go to trade on the top right I make sure it's the correct pair I change the top from instant execution to sell limits I'm gonna paste the price that I copied. And then normally I would have my stop loss and my take profit on there. Expiration is basically where like if you put an order in and if it doesn't execute within a certain time frame, whatever time frame you put there, it'll just close the order out for you. So now I have my sell limit at that price. Now I don't think it's gonna allow it because it might be right at that price right now. Hold on. Yeah, it's right at that price. So let's change it. I'm gonna do 1.8700 instead. So let's go back. And remember y'all, I'm just doing this. I'm winging it, 1.18700, and I'm gonna click place. So what that means is when the market comes up to my level, and if it does and it rejects it, my order is activated for the sell. Okay, so you definitely want to implement a stop loss too, um, just in case if it decides to like shoot up and go in the opposite direction. And then you also want to put your take profit as well. So that's how you do it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions.